Hey everybody, my name is Alex, and in this video we're going to do something a little bit different. Typically I'm going over something process related to Space Mesh, but I just finished up my first script that I've been having a lot of success with that I use for monitoring my plots, and it is rightly named PlotMon, and it will help you monitor your plots if you choose to use it. This is open source, it's on GitHub, written in purely Python, so it runs on Windows and definitely Ubuntu. However, I don't provide support. I don't get paid to do this. I'm not part of the Space Mesh team. I wrote this for my own personal use. You are welcome to use it for your own personal use. If you have some improvements, you are welcome uh, to do improvements on this script and use it uh, as you see fit for your own personal use. A uh, few features here, we have GPU. Now I do want to note that this only supports a single GPU. It will just look at the provider zero. So you're not going to get all the GPUs if you have 10 of them on here. In a future release, I'm going to have it cycle through the GPUs. I just, there's just not enough space to put all of them on here. And honestly, the GPU usage is more because it looks cool than anything. So I'll probably have it cycle through the different GPUs and I'll just be like, you know, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti uh, 0, then 1, 2, 3, and it'll just like cycle through them every, you know, 10 seconds or something. Uh, and then we, this is really the most important part. We have the plot progress. This is going to do the percentage for the total, but then each post out bin, we can see it going up as we plot more to it. And then when this is done, it'll pick up on 840. Then we have an estimated completion date. This gets more accurate the longer the script runs. So you'll notice when you first turn it on, the speed, time remaining, completion date is all over the place. Once you get into like the hundreds of beats, which is basically just seconds that the script's been running, it gets more accurate because it's taking an overall average of how long it's been going. So uh, in the beginning, the numbers are kind of like all over the place because it's how plotting works is it does like chunks of data and it's looking at data increases to get that average and there's just like big chunks of data increases so in the beginning it looks you know it might go up to five um, and then it goes back down to like two and then it'll go up to four and then three and then eventually it'll kind of uh, level off here you can see it's pretty steady around 3.81 3.82 and that's going to give me a pretty accurate time of when this is going to be completed, unless you stop it and start it again. And this will pick right up where you left off. Um, I'll even show it. So if I close this, run it again, it waits for 10 seconds because, like I said, it's using an average and it's just ridiculous in the beginning. It makes no sense. So it's going to wait until 10 seconds. And then we'll see, uh, as you can see, I'm like down at 2.6. Then I jump up. Uh, my time is all over the place, uh, so you just let it run for a little bit and it'll figure itself out around 100, 150. Uh, not a big deal. There's really nothing you can do about it. There's no real improvements that can be done. Um, so yeah, this is the most important part here. Then we have some plot info just so you remember. Total size, space units, uh, max file size, labels. If a nonce has been found yet, and then the directory that it's being stored, and then your different plot IDs. These are all public information. Uh, we actually just got a new highest ATX, uh, but these are nice because if you want to copy them, it's nice to just have them if you need to stop and restart. Because if you stop plotting, you need your uh, ID here, and then you'll need, of course, your ATX uh, again, the same one that we're using before. So pretty cool script. Uh, I got my link to my YouTube channel. Hey, I don't get paid for this, so you know I'm trying to get subscribers. I'm hoping to get up to 500 uh, in the next couple of weeks here. I'll probably be doing a giveaway or something if I hit 500. I don't know if it'll be SMH. I don't know if it'll be maybe one of the GPUs that I've cleaned. Uh, we'll see. But I'm just trying to you know get the Space Mesh name out there, trying to get my YouTube name out there. So feel free to share my channel and share this script. And if you find it useful, let me know because uh, kind of gives me motivation to build more things. 
Next thing I'm working on after this is what I call the node mon, which monitors your node. And what that's going to do is tell you all sorts of information about your node. And it's going to uh, let you know kind of like if there's errors, it's going to have a debug mode where if something goes wrong, you'll have a nice well formatted log that you can submit on the discord for people to look at. Uh, it's going to have a ton of features. It's way more intense than the plotting. Uh, and then long, long term, I'm going to have an app. Uh, it's going to be a web app. I don't know if it'll be a phone app. We'll see how big Space Mesh gets because it definitely depends on the community size. Uh, but where you can opt in to have this information sent up to the cloud. And of course, you know, it'll be password protected, although everything here is public information. Uh, you'll have be able to have a password just so uh, if you want to prevent certain people from seeing it. And I think there might be some configuration stuff like alerts and whatnot. And uh, obviously I want to keep that behind an authentication wall, but unfortunately that doesn't mean you need to register. So we'll see, I haven't quite decided yet, but I know for myself, this would be super helpful to see, especially my nodes, not so much my plotters, like if they go down, whatever, but my nodes, you know, that's what's producing the SMH. Uh, so it'll be nice to see all my nodes because I've got like 20 of them and see if there's any like in a bad status or any of them that are out of sync, how many peers they have. Uh, so anyways, try and, you know, the more people get excited about this, the more I'll be motivated to, to work on it. I've been trying to do a nice mix between uh, videos about Space Mesh, writing code, helping out in the Discord and having an actual life. So it's been pretty busy, but I enjoy doing this, so I feel great. And today was Poet registration, and I got a bunch of nodes, some going through Poet for the first time, some that are doing the second Poet, and some that have been earning rewards. So I'm at all stages of the progress process here. It's been, uh, you know, no, no hiccups today. Uh, actually, I do have one node that I set the nonces to 144. It didn't find it. It's on second time through. It'll finish in time, but I think there might be something wrong uh, with the with the data, so I might have to replot. It happens. Kind of stinks because it's 1.7 terabytes, but worst case, just replot it. Anyways, this uh, I've been rambling on for a little bit here. I guess this was more of like a kind of just a chat more than anything else. But GitHub. Link will be in the description if you want to download this and use it when you're plotting. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.